Hi everyone, this is Fantica with 100% Gaming, and welcome back to yet another Borderlands 3 video. Today, we'll be going over all the legendary hunt and target of opportunity locations. Now, each boss encounter is quite different, and some you will find are much harder than others, as did I. Some of these mini bosses drop unique weapons, some can be legendaries, and when you complete the challenge for the first time, you receive experience, in-game cash, and iridium. Now, for completing all the challenges, Zero and Sir Hamlock will give you a free legendary, but stay tuned to the end of the video to see what those legendary rewards are. Let's get to it, guys. So we're currently on Pandora the Droughts, and we're going to be completing our first legendary hunt. Here, we need to defeat the legendary Levador Crawley for Sir Hamlock. Now, this is a reference to Downtown Abbey, which is pretty cool. You're going to need a fire or and corrosive weapon, as that's what these enemies are weak to. After you fight Lavender Crawley, you'll find that she splits into more enemies which are weak to fire. Now the family does drop the predatory lending SMG that uses money instead of ammo, so this is where you can pick that up too. She will spawn just on the map here, so make your way from the fast travel station and you'll be good to go. She comes out of the cave here. So you can see here, she's like Come up now. Come, friend. They will not So we've made our way over to Ascension Bluff on Pandora, where we're going to defeat the legendary Skak for Sir Hammerlock. The location here is really easy, as this is a fast travel station, and you just make your way over here. Now, he does drop the Sack Seal Pistol with a 7 round burst fire, and also shoots energy balls. I'd recommend using a fire weapon against this enemy. Alright guys, we're on Pandora on Devil's Razor, and there's one legendary hunt and one target of opportunity. First, because it's right next to Roland's Rest here, we're going to start with the target of opportunity. Now, for this one we have to kill Hot Carl for zero. Now what hot, a Hot Carl is, is I would suggest Urban Dictionarying it, because it's a little bit gross. Anyway, he is immune to fire and he'll spawn in this village here. He'll come out of that building there. A lot of enemies do spawn here, so I've taken them out first. Just to show you Glad the battle with Hot Carl. As you can see, he's immune to fire, so you're going to have to use another element.
Alright guys, we're currently at Devil's Razor on Pandora, going after the Antelope for Sawyer Hammerlock. Now, this one is a spider ant of some kind, so a fire weapon is what you should be using. To get here, just go to Boom Boom Town and make your way to where I am now. Now, I don't think that the Antelope has any unique or legendary weapons, but don't quote me on that. A rare antlered spider ant! I must have it on my credins and kill it! Back, little friend! Well done, Vault Hunter! Well done indeed! I shall hang mercenary day decorations from those antlers! Alright guys, we're currently at the Splinterlands on Pandora, going after another legendary hunt for Sao Hammerlock. This time round, we want to defeat the legendary Phoenix. Now, it does drop a unique legendary called the Phoenix Tears. It's an artifact, and it returns 100% of health after gaining second wind. So it's not too bad if you don't have a good artifact already. Besides that, the Phoenix is resistant to fire weapons, so avoid using them. Also, if you want, you can fight in your vehicle. Why is this rack known as the Phoenix? Fell it, Vault Hunter, and find out. That's the spirit! You'll be okay, little friend. You look intact, at least. And so the phoenix fell, and then rose, and then fell again. And then rose a third time, and now it's dead. Your persistence, Vault Hunter, has paid off. Alright guys, we're currently at Conrad's Hold on Pandora, and we're going to be completing this legendary hunt, killing the Manvark for Sao Hammerlock. Now, the Manvark does drop a unique legendary, it's called the Headsplosion, and its manufacturer is Jacobs. Now it fires explosive rounds and critical hits ricochet three rounds, so it's not too bad. Varkid's not too hard, he does have a few different phases, but as long as you have a good fire weapon, all his phases are weak against fire, so it shouldn't be too much trouble. This is his location on the map, it's quite a long way from the fast travel station, but once you get here, it's not too bad. Alright guys, we're currently on the Cathedral of the Twin Gods on Pandora, where we're completing our final Target of the Opportunity. Here, we need to eliminate Crossjaw for zero. Now, Crossjaw does have a chance of dropping the Bone Shredder, which is returning from Borderlands 1 and Borderlands 2. Now, this is the location here. Once you're here, jump down this pipe here. Instead of going to the Great Vault, turn around, make your way through here. Now, I suggest using a corrosive weapon and a fire weapon as they deal increased damage to her. Alright 
Alright guys, we're currently on Meridian Metroplex on Promethea, where we can tackle our first target of opportunity in this location. Here, we have to defeat Baron Noggin for zero. Now he does drop a legendary unique grenade mod, it's called the EMP. It's always shock and it only damages shield, it doesn't work on any other type of element. Now, he is here on the map, drive yourself around to here, and you drop down here. I recommend using a shock weapon to take out his shields, and then a fire weapon to burn his flesh. The Baron plays games as he toys with life and death. Don't play by his rules. Alright guys, we're currently in Lecture City on Promethea, where we're going after our second target of opportunity. Here, we need to eliminate Judge Hightower and his gang for zero. Now, they all can drop the Scorpio Extra Large Pistol that when thrown has its own shield, so it's pretty nifty. It is a pretty tough one here, as there's a lot of enemies that spawn and they all deal a high amount of damage. Just try and push through them and you'll be fine. I reckon men using a shock weapon and a fire weapon. Whip. Alright guys, we're on Skull 27 on Promethea, where we have to eliminate Handsome Jackie for zero. So here's the spawn location of him here. It is quite a long run from the fast travel station. Handsome Jackie does drop a unique legendary shotgun. It's called the Iron Wound Nibble Jack. It's a Jacobs manufactured shotgun, and when you're airborne, it significantly increases your accuracy. After you find the Reese Ball and make your way through the door here, Jump down to the left. Don't go too far, otherwise you will die. Send her to an empty throne. Send her to an early grave. Here she is. Just using a shock weapon and then a fire weapon to take her out. Alright guys, we're on Athenus, where we need to complete the one and only legendary hunt, where we need to fight the legendary Chupacabrach. 
Pussy Hemlock. I have no idea how to say that, so forgive me. He's quite easy to find. Here he is on the map. Let's run from the fast travel station there. Now he does drop a unique legendary grenade mod. It is called the Chupa's Organ. It sticks to the target and drains their health, healing the user. You can use multiple grenades at the same time for an amplified healing bonus. Now, once you get to him here, I suggest using a fire weapon as he is just flesh. So we're currently at the anvil on Eden 6, and we have one target opportunity complete. Here we have to eliminate the sky bullies for zero for Atlas's most wanted. Now, I do not believe that they have a unique legendary or any other type of unique weapon to them, but they just drop any legendaries out in the game. Now here's my location on the map, it is quite far away from the fast travel station, but just make your way here, and then you'll be ready to fight. Now I suggest using a corrosive weapon to destroy their armor first, followed by a fire weapon to beat down their health. Now a few of them do spawn, and a lot of enemies do spawn inside this room, so just be careful, take them out systematically and you should be fine. Shooting flying tanks and heights. Breathe and don't look down. We're on Eden 6 at Floodmore Basin and we're here to take on the one and only legendary challenge, Chunk Stomp. So here guys we have to defeat Chunk Stomp for Sir Hammerlock, he's a big dinosaur, he's pretty nasty, but if you stay away he's not too hard to beat. Now, he doesn't have any unique weapon that he drops, but he does have a higher chance to drop the Garcia. It's a legendary shotgun manufactured by Japers with an increased magazine size. So. To fight him, just stay far away. This is his location on the map. It's quite far away from any fast travel station. You pick the one that suits you. Make your way here. As you make your way over here, you'll find the giant monster. There he is. I use a fire weapon to beat him, but just stay away and you'll be fine. Keep fighting! So we're on Jacob's estate on Eden 6 where there is another target of opportunity. Here we need to eliminate Heckle and Hyde for zero. Now, 
They do drop the legendary weapon Pestilence. It is manufactured by COV. Now, it is not unique to them. It does drop from any notable loot source, but it does have an increased drop chance from them. Now, the weapon is always radiation. It increases charge speed, reduces repair speed, and when the weapon breaks, the character is affected with radiation status, which can actually kill the character, so you've got to be careful with this one. Alright guys, so here they are on the map. It's pretty close. They're pretty easy to farm and get to. So, here they are. A man, a monster, waste no time with such quandaries. Alright guys, so we're at Eden 6 on the Voracious Canopy, and here we have the Legendary Hunt. Defeat the Legendary Jebba Mogai for Sir Hemlock. Now, he does have the chance to drop the Hellfire. It is a legendary submachine gun manufactured by Dell. It is obtained randomly from any suitable loot source, but has an increased drop chance to drop from Jebba Mogai. Now, the weapon is always incendiary, and its ultimate fire mode toggles zoom magnification. He is here on the map here. It's a little bit of a run, but it's not too bad. Just make sure when you fight the guy, you don't let him touch the water, because you find out what happens if he does. He comes out of this little hut here. So guys, we're currently at Eden 6 on Amber Meyer, where we're going to be completing this target of opportunity. Here, we need to eliminate the Psycho Billies for zero. Now, there are four of them, and this is one of the harder crew challenges, just so you're aware. They killed me a lot trying to do this. There are four of them. They deal tons of damage, just so you know. Now, I don't think they drop any notable loot. All the legendaries or other weapons that they drop can drop from any other notable loot source, from tanks or bosses like Captain Trump, for example. Now... To get there, go to this fast travel station here, jump out the window, and go down here. Now, just tip for fighting them, use an incendiary weapon as their flesh, and that's what they're weak to. And also, try to separate them one by one, because trying to take on four at a time is just too difficult. Alright, guys. A banjo is death in the hands of murderers. There is no encore. Read. 
Alright guys, so we've made it to Desolation's Edge on Necrofio, where there is a legendary hunt. We need to defeat the Blinding Banshee for Sir Hammerlock. Now, it's not too difficult. It is weak to fire, like most seem things seem to be this way around. So you use an incendiary weapon, and it does drop the Shrieking Devil. It is a unique melee one shotgun, but it can be randomly obtained by any suitable loot source. Just keep that in mind. Now, it can come in cryo, incendiary, shock, or radiation, and it releases an elemental neighbor when fired. Alright, this is her location on the map. Good luck hunting her. Alright guys, we're here at Tanzania Ruins at Necrofo. We have this target of opportunity offered by Zero where we need to eliminate Silvestro and Atomic. Now, the enemies are basically just beefed up variants of other melee one enemies that you fight throughout the game, so don't worry too much, there's nothing new you need to learn here. Now, I don't believe that they have any unique weapons or legendaries, but let me know if you know something different down in the comments. Now, it is quite a big long run from the fast travel station but you'll get there in no time you know you're here when you see this red chest I suggest using a shot weapon and a fire weapon because that's what they are weak against Alright guys, we're currently at Necrofo, the Pro of the Stars, where we have our final legendary hunt. Here we need to defeat the legendary swarm host, defeat the unique beast for Sir Hammerlock. Now, this one is the swarm host. It does spawn a bunch of explosive enemies, so be aware for them. And the swarm host does have quite a lot of health, so try and burn it down quickly before the adds destroy you. Now, I don't think it drops any unique legendaries or weapons. But again, let me know if this isn't the case down in the comments. Now, here is its location here. Unfortunately, you spawn in here, you have to run the whole way around before you can get to it. I couldn't find a way to get up this little gap here. You're meant to jump down, not jump up. Anyway guys, here we go. He can't exterminate that swarm of creepy critters, Malt Hunter!
So I said at the start of the video that you can get two really good legendary items. Well, as it turns out, you can actually get a heap of purple and blue or epic and rare weapons as well. So after you complete each challenge, if you go to your social tab and go to the mail, as you can see here, you get a bunch of mail for every time you defeat one of these challenges. So for example, defeating the sky bullies, zero here, gives us this decisive mongol. Or for hot cow, zero again, gives us the bleeding edge popular boardroom. Now they're all pretty decent weapons. I'm not sure if it's the same for everyone. I'm pretty sure it is. So if you want this particular weapon, here they are. I'm gonna go through them slowly here. So for defeating the sky bullies, we get the decisive mongol. For chonk stomp, we get an iron wield cutting peacekeeper. For killing the Scrack, we get the Iron Wield Stagecoach, Hot Carl, the Bleeding Edge Popular Boardroom. Don't worry about that one, that was just something we get through playing the game using a Vladov weapon. Here's the Antelope, we get the Gatling Blood Soaked Repeater. For the Phoenix, we get the Blood Soaked Gatling Repeater Masher, pretty similar weapons there. Both Jacobs. From the Manvark, we get the Dastardly Long Rider. From Crossjaw, the Synergized Mongol. Baron Noggin, the Savvy Mongol, Judge Hightower, Undermining Executive Downsizer, Handsome Jackie, Popular Power Play, Chunk Stomp, we get the Daisy Marshal, the Sky Bullies, Subsidized Trends in Calibrator, Heckle and Hyde, Powerhouse Outsourcer, Psycho Billies, One Kind Calibrator, Silvestro Atomic, Influential Power Play, and, as an awesome reward, after you've completed all the challenge from Zero, he'll give you a Lyuda. An awesome legendary weapon. The one I got here does 603 damage times 2. That's pretty good. And it is an irritated variant. So that's very nice. From Sam Helmlack, the Swarm Host, gives us the Breakneck Chica Cow. And finally, again, a legendary for completing all the challenges. Pretty awesome. It gives us the quick draw Becker, a Jacob's weapon. Alright guys, well let me know in the comments if you get the same weapon as I, as I'm not sure that they're all going to be the same, but I'm pretty sure you do get any variant of the Becker and Lyuda towards the end. So it's a pretty good way to get a guaranteed Lyuda. Just on a side note, I'd recommend doing this at level 50, as when you receive the mail from the characters, they're going to give you level 50 weapons. Otherwise, you might get a level 40 Lyuda, for example, and I mean, it's just not going to serve you as well as a level 51 will. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, this has been Fantiga with 100% Gaming.